What is going on, fam? Welcome back to Adobe Moto. Today I got my filmer, Julian. Say what's up, bro. I can't. <laughs> He's can tired. I get a hair tie? He's tired. Yes, you can. You can get a hair tie. So I think we know where the leak is coming from. So y'all know I cleaned out the bottom area. I cleaned off the stator area. But somebody told me to look at the head, and look at that. That is residue. Today we're gonna take off the gas tank and look at the head. I said look at the head, not give head, you ding dongs. Oh, it's good. I did the carbon fiber. Come on, Marasaka. Come on, Marasaka. You Marasaka. There we go. Yeah. Okay, so I think we found the problem. It definitely is coming from the valve cover gasket or O-ring or spark plug O-ring, whatever the heck it is, but it's definitely coming from there. If you look in here, Julian, you can see a lot of residue. And uh, yeah, that's definitely where it's coming from. Everywhere else is kind of dry. So it's definitely going back to the dealer. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but yeah, it's definitely moist right there, moist. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna put the tank back in, and then I'm gonna clean off the fairings, get them back on, and then take the bike for a spin. I know you guys love riding videos, so let's go! These insides get really dirty. Look at all this gunk. These things are filthy, bro. Look at these. These under fairings, woo! all that smoke holy cannoli ain't it steamy in here bro i wonder why oh it's because i just washed it <laughs> golly look at all that steam <laughs> we are back with another moto vlog you guys <laughs> let's go <laughs> it's a beautiful day I, mean, I spent most of the morning chatting with people about electric bikes it it was weird If you guys don't know, I ride a Suron, and if you don't know what a Suron is, look through my channel, there's some videos of some Suron content on there. Basically an electric dirt bike. It's really fun. If you own a motorcycle, you should get a Suron. That said, I think people have this misconception that my channel is about the Suron, when in reality, I'm just a guy who rides motorcycles who happens to own a Suron. Like, my Suron shit kind of popped off on TikTok. I never really did anything on YouTube, but I think that's because it was just something that I was into at the time, so I just made some content around the Suron and it, you know it, it'll pop up every now and then if you guys continue to be a fan of this channel and you know suck my c and that kind of shit you may see some Suron content that said if you ever want to see a bunch of grown ass men cry like a bunch of bitches about their little e-bikes go into my Suron content comment section it's freaking hilarious bro <laughs> These are the dudes that can't ride real motorcycles <laughs> and they're just like <laughs> my e-bike list someone's so battery like bro like <laughs> shut the f up you freaking pansies holy cannoli bro gee whiz look at this weather it's beautiful gotta get some gasoline from my favorite gasoline station shell i hate being short man it's 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 pretty it's a, it's not a good life okay it's not very productive being short should be a disability you know what i'm saying god i love it i got it guys don't worry i can pull out my wallet you assholes that i can do <laughs> da -da 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 -da. the gas spewing everywhere never fails dude look at this i just washed this damn bike <sighs> is there a paper towel yes there is you know what though gasoline is a cleaner <laughs> if you guys didn't know that now we know learn something from a double moto every single day bro oh my god there's something leaking on my motorcycle what could it be only one way to find out. Water. <laughs> it's water. God, man. Like, how many crevices are there on this motorcycle that there's just freaking water just freaking dripping? Let's see if it'll start because it's an Italian. Oh, okay. All right, cool. Oh, yeah. Welcome back to Crackheadville. <laughs> 
goodness gracious this is so fun guys thank you guys so much for uh, watching my videos watching the vlogs watching the BS I'm having so much fun there's an announcement that I really want to make but it's just it's still in the works but hopefully in a month or two we'll be able to do this full-time and all our efforts of beating the algorithm will have been for something I didn't know how to say that last part but you know what I mean you ding-dongs <laughs> all right we're gonna take this bike for a spin hopefully we can see exactly where the drip is coming from I still think it's from the valve cover gasket somebody said it's like a weep hole somewhere on the block if you know where that is can you guys like let me know I think it was Dean Dean commented something about the weep hole <laughs> Dean looks like he would know something about weep holes <laughs> <laughs> What's your guys' opinion on electric bicycles? They're fun to scoot around town. The Suron's really fun. But I always tell people it's not a replacement for a real motorcycle. There's always some twat that gets offended by that, though. <laughs> but it's the truth. We tell the truth here. We're not loyal to any brand. We're not loyal to anybody, really. It's just like, if I like a brand, if I like a company, I will promote them for free, honestly. It just, it just is what it is. I don't even have that big of a following. <laughs> Like 250k is cool like on TikTok and shit like that's tight but eh, I don't know not some fucking celebrity of TikTok or YouTube like <laughs> Jesus Christ bro oh man some of these weenies I hope whoever they're going after is okay. You know, my wife is always so concerned when there's an ambulance or like there's an accident. She has such a kind heart. Whenever we see an accident on the freeway, most people would get frustrated because they're late, they're in a rush to get somewhere. They're like, uh, I used to be one of those people. And then one day she was like, you know what though? That could have been us and I hope they're okay. Who cares if there's traffic? And she's right, dude. I think at the end of the day, we all just need to realize that we're all human beings living on the same planet on borrowed time fam let's just make the most of it you know what i'm saying no hezzy bro no freaking hezzy oh look at the scooter dude i'm gonna wave i'm gonna wave Ah, oh, didn't get a wave, didn't get a wave. That's okay. What's your favorite motorcycle you've ever owned? Like, it can't be like a dream bike or whatever it is, right? What is your favorite motorcycle that you've ever owned? I've owned a lot of motorcycles, and that's something I always get asked. Like, which one's your favorite? Every time, I say it's the R6. One, because that was my very first bike. Love the heck out of it. Two, it taught me a lot about riding. Three, the R6 is just an awesome machine for what I like to do. I like to, I like to ride, man. I like to, you know, I like to be a Track day only, bro. <laughs> yeah, I, just, I, I don't know. I'm too short for the R6, but I love it. I already know somebody's gonna be in here and be like, Jigster all the way, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with that, fam. I love all motorcycles. It's so weird when people hate on motorcycles because it's like, I love them all, man. I, I really do. Oh, my God. Even, look, even the H2, bro, like, I get it. it it's an H2. It's, it's really cool, da, da, da. I respect it for what it is, man. And with respect comes love, dude. Like, anything on two wheels, I just, I'm, I'm in love with anything on two wheels. I don't know if you guys share that same perspective. I think that's what makes bikers just different, right? It's easy to hate on, on a car because it's like, yeah, I mean, some cars are fucking ugly. <laughs> and some motorcycles, you know, and it's subjective. It can be ugly too, but I think, I don't know trying to think of a motorcycle that i'm just like you know what that bike ugly bro oh okay yeah yeah for sure the the, the hayabusa <laughs> that's the ugly bike bro that is the ugly bike i don't think i ever said that out loud but yeah bro i think it, for me it's like the second gen is really cool i like that one that looks the best i've seen the new one in person and holy cannoli guys that thing <laughs> that thing looks like a whale penis <laughs> God, dude. The looks alone makes me want to get an H2 over the Hayabusa, bro. For real. I comment down below if you ride a whale penis. I know there's a dude in Japan in my comment section. He rides a whale penis. It's already middle of January. I have so much to look forward to. A double moto is like, oh my god, that scares the shit out of me every time they do that. <laughs> My god, I hate street riding, bro. Gee whiz, cars are unpredictable. Anyway, we got a lot of good things to look forward to on a double moto. I'm gonna be doing a lot of motorcycle reviews. I mean, I'm not just talking about this one. 
I'm talking about chase on two wheels type of shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and with a little bit of a double flare, of course. There's gonna be an opportunity for me to be able to test ride motorcycles. Motorcycles all with shapes and sizes. And I can't wait to share that with you guys, man. We got some track days coming up. I do have some plans to hit up some California track days. So if you in Cali and, um, and you wanna link up, hit me up, bro. <laughs> I'm so sorry you guys are going through some kind of a monsoon or some stuff. I don't keep up with the world. I'm so sorry. I'm just in my own world. It's a flaw of mine. Some people like think I don't care about the world. I just don't care about anything else but what's going on in front of me. I'm a very hyper focused individual and I get off track a lot and YouTube has been like the only thing that like I have put so much focus and effort in and I love you guys for like showing up bro. I, I, man, if I told you guys there was a point where I didn't even like writing and talking anymore, it just got really stale. I think a lot of it was because I wasn't being myself dude. Like it's weird trying to find your voice in social media. You're, you're gonna try all these different things things and then one day you realize like yo you can only be yourself bro when i started being myself i started having fun again man <laughs> i don't know if you guys can tell how much fun i have making these videos who are some of your guys' favorite moto vloggers? I think y'all know some of mine. I love Motonocity. Snooge, man. I wish that fool was still road bikes, but he's like the Snooge now. Not a fan of, <laughs> not a fan of, but he's doing his thing. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I've never watched one Baker X Derek. Not one full one. Never. Um, I know of him. Never seen one video. Not one. Uh, there's a dude I watch. I think he started like the delete Tinder by a motorcycle trend. Can't remember his name, but he would take hot babes on ride i like that dude that dude's got a funny personality he's kind of a weirdo <laughs> but i guess we all are who else do i like i like chase man chase that dude has like really high production value um i think i just got bored just kind of did the same stuff and it's, it's, his stuff's very corporate i miss like the raw youtube mode of vloggers yummy r6 that dude i followed i think he became a cop i'm not gonna lie i was never really into do it with dan i have nothing against them none at all just doesn't look like a guy I could relate to that's all oh fast lane d bro that dude yo i used to watch him when he was like at like 3,000 followers or whatever i was like yo man you're my favorite motor vlogger right now bro and then we would chat online and uh he and i are kind of like homies and you guys like <laughs> You guys think I troll him, bro? Like, yo, Fastlane D, he's the, he's the homie, bro. Oh, Clutch First New York. You guys know no Mike? He's a good dude. His riding videos are so fun. Really high production value. Clutch First, that dude's OG OG. There was a guy I used to watch. He's not on anymore, but it was um, that guy Ken. TG, TGK. Loved his stuff. Look how beautiful this is, man. Golly. Golly gee whiz. <sighs> I love the appreciation stops here, man. Let's do an appreciation stop right here. Would you look at that? Appreciation stop. Holy cannoli. Look at this beautiful motorcycle, man. Mm. I love it. Alright, I cleaned it up. Nothing leaking yet. Hmm. God, what a beauty. What a beauty. I should have lubed the chain. Now it's all rusty. <laughs> oh, God. Is that fuel? Gee whiz. Look at this beautiful motorcycle, man. I love it. I absolutely love it. Some motorcycles, I'm like, yeah, I could get rid of it. But this one, I'm just like, why is it so difficult for me to get rid of? Somebody already offered me some cash, and I should have taken it. But I was like, nah. I'm good. <laughs> you guys seem to like this bike. I also enjoy it. It's fun. Woo. Let's do some revs. We haven't done revs in a while, bro. My god, fam. A brilliant RSV4 1100 factory. Sounds like an 80s Mitsubishi Evo commercial <laughs> in Japan. 
You know what I'm surprised about? I'm surprised you like you guys like the Honda Grom video that I just put out. It makes you want to take that bike to a supercar meet, man. Oh, let me know if you want that to happen. All right, all right. Okay, okay. Calm down. Calm down, Aprilia. Calm, calm the freak down, bro. G whiz. <laughs> That's like, what is this? A sidewalk? <laughs> Oh, there's no cops around. They're gonna just get lit up right now. Oh, that was an exit. What the hell? Why are we going through here, bro? Holy shit. <laughs> I don't want no crackheads to pop out on me. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I love it. Love this bike, man. There's a burger joint I'm trying to go to. I haven't been there in a long time. Hopefully there's no line. There's always a freaking line, especially right now. South Sound Scooters, that's cool. Vespa, that's what's up. <clears throat> <laughs> this dude's fucking freaking out, man. Holy shit. I hate when red lights don't catch you, bro. I have to do this stupid shit, like run them. I don't want to do that, but Washington State Law says I'm allowed to. <laughs> I'm just abiding by the law, guys. I'm just abiding by the law. All right, we made it. Here we are. And there's no line, bro. Yeah. Frisco Freeze. If y'all never been here, this the spot, fam. This is it. Okay, I'm gonna get in line before anybody else gets in line. Oh my god, let's go. Hell yeah, cheeseburger time, cheeseburger time. Man, I haven't had Frisco Freeze in a minute. There's no line, bro. Hey, what's up, man? Can you get a cheeseburger? Cheeseburger? Uh, actually, you should make it a double cheeseburger. Double cheese, it's good. Double cheese. Good what's that? That's a good choice. Oh, good. fuck yeah, bro. Thinking about onion rings. Onion rings are great, but I personally get a little bit tired of them after like three or four of them. Hey, you, you fucking work here, bro. Jesus. Oh, that's true. That's true. <laughs> they are pretty damn good. They're fucking good. Yeah, I gotta get them, man. Yeah, yeah. And some onion rings. Some ranch. When you get your food, ask for a couple salt packets on those on the onion rings. It tastes really good. Okay. Go. Yeah, thank you. Oh yeah. Appreciation time right under the fucking sign. But I need a picture. All right, guys. Check this out. My goodness. Look at that. Whoa. Whoa. Mmm. Mmm. You ever been to Tacoma? Fish go freeze. Oh man, I ate that up, bro. That was so good. The dude, the big dude with the advice, yo. If any big motherfuckers just tell you to do something with your food, listen to me. You do it, okay? Because they know how to eat, bro. Salt on the onion rings? Freaking genius, bro. <laughs> I found the weep hole people were talking about and it's right there. So far, it looks pretty dry. Nothing down there. We'll just have to keep an eye on it.